So what you can do is essentially send a request, but immediately respond back to the client with an ID of the job that has been created for the client. It says, hey, listen, I put your request in a queue for further processing. I did not process it immediately, but I'm going to process it later. Now, later could be in a second, could be in an hour. So here's an ID, a GUID, a UUID. Come back with me to check the status. On the older model, if you send a request and you, you want to wait for that response, if your connection closed as a client, well, after you send the request, in the normal request response model, well, the, the backend actively generates the response for you on that particular connection. The moment you die as a client, you just disappear. There is no way to get that response. But this, with this long polled model, after we turn this request response into a scalable, you know, predictable, if you will, backend model, we also have resumability in this long response. Now, even if the client has disappeared, connection has died for anything. I don't know. The middle, you know, the middle boxes decided to kill your connection because you didn't send keep alive message or it was technically ignoring keep alive messages for any reason and that just destroys your connection. Just, just, it just removes the knowledge of your connection existence and then you're done so you come back with a new connection what you do in this log pole model you just come back with this uh your id your unique identifier that that the server gave you it says hey is it back and you just resumes a new long pole session and if you were lucky and you came back the, the server will say, oh, I'm not keeping your stinking jobs there forever. Because that's not something you have to keep in mind, right? So you set an expiry day, date for, the, for those responses. And you can just delete them after a 